so 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 Hey guys, it's Heidi. Welcome back. We're going to be trying a black deep cleansing charcoal peel off mask that's supposed to remove every single blackhead in your face. Now, as always on my channel, I have a full disclosure policy. These black mask was sent to me by BFG Cosmetics months ago, and I never got around to make a video on it. That said, this video is absolutely not sponsored, but I guess if it does indeed remove blackheads, it must be better than you know extractions right all right so it says here dry the cleansed area apply the mask avoiding eyebrow eyes and lips peel it off after 20 to 30 minutes and the desired frequency of application is once a week so as you guys know I suffer from sensitive skin rosacea and redness and my problem area is typically the area on my cheeks that's why I'm going to try to stay away from that and mainly focus on my nose and my chin. It doesn't say how much one should be applying or if one should be using something to apply. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my fingers and let's do this. It just, it looks so gross. Look at this. I feel like I need to apply quite a bit of product because I don't know, it just feels like if the layer is too thin, then it will be harder to peel it off. Does that even make sense to you? I feel like you need to put more on the borders. That's what I'm going to be peeling it off from. Look at my finger. I'm going to be peeling it off from there as well. I wish it came with an applicator, maybe like a small spatula or something like that. Let's move on to the chin. <sighs> I always wonder how crazy it is that people come up with these products, you know? What was the first person that just came around and said, hey, let's put some peel of black thing on your face so you can remove blackheads? Like, kind of crazy when you think about it. All right, so it says to leave on your face for 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm putting a timer there for 25 minutes, which is kind of average. I'm gonna go wash my hands now or I'm gonna be getting these black mask all over everything I touch and uh, I'll be right back. So quick update, I was able to remove, although when I came back I started touching the bottle again and it kind of caught some here. It is removable, which was kind of a relief, but it did take a while. A couple of tips, it will get in your fingernails, so it would be a good idea if you have a little uh, nail brush to remove it from there and it also removes a lot better with soap and warm water. Also it is starting to dry a little bit but it's not feeling too uncomfortable. I guess also the fact that I didn't do a full face uh, mask, it just gives me more movement because my cheeks are kind of free. So while we're waiting for this to dry up, I wanted to show you what I used up until now to remove blackheads. This is the Neutrogena Rapid Clear Mask, it's like a translucent gel and I applied on the same two areas my nose and my chin you leave it on for like five minutes and then you remove it with water it's not a peel off mask it has salicylic acid and glycolic acid and in my opinion it does work quite well so I just wanted to uh, throw it out there in case anyone is interested in trying this one out as well we are 17 minutes in and I can tell you my chin is starting to feel a lot a lot tighter and it's getting harder for me to speak. <laughs> I was just at the BFG Cosmetics site and I wanted to try and check what the price of the mask is. So the price is $26. I feel like it's a little bit out there, right? I do wonder however how long like 50 milliliters would last me. It just feels like I still have plenty of product in here. I needed that. It's getting harder and harder to speak. It's only five more minutes until peel off. So we're almost there. I am zooming you guys in now because I feel like you will want to see this. I wanted to mention to you guys, in case you missed those videos, that I tried a gold mask by Adore Cosmetics and a diamond mask by Crystals Cosmetics. And I'm gonna be linking those two videos in the description box below. 
time to peel these off I do feel like I'm not gonna do it like super tidy and nicely I just feel like I'm gonna do a mess so what I'm gonna do is just try to remove first the outer part by the way I did not mention this but I don't feel like allergic or anything like that at all hey this is coming out so nicely what are people complaining about look at this it's coming up super nice okay there it hurts a little bit oh 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 oh, oh. okay there it hurt Ah, uh, oh, oh, that hurt. That hurt. It didn't hurt at the beginning, and then it hurt. Do you see? I have a tear there. <laughs> Guys, this made me cry. Like, look at that. <laughs> really, wasn't that bad, but it did. It did make me cry. I had to go find that tissue because honestly. I don't know what happened. Like it wasn't that bad, you guys. I don't want to scare you, but if this eye started to be all teary. I actually think I did a good job. Let me just look at this stuff. I'm not gonna zoom this gross stuff in. So I do see it has removed um, some of the blackhead. Let's move on to this one. One, two. Uh, that was much much gentler. I'm gonna try something different so that I can remove the rest on camera and just use my Bioderma Sensi Bio Micellar Water. It's doing a good job. So as you guys can see my nose is a bit red and a little bit swollen to be honest which I guess is to be expected. So I'm going to be using the Aven anti Rougeurs Calm Mask. This is a redness relief soothing mask for redness prone skin. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that on my nose to see if I can calm things down and a little bit on my chin even though it's really not that bad I feel like the Aven mask is immediately doing a very good job soothing and managing my redness that's why I love the anti rougeurs line so much so I guess everything is under control I do feel like this does a good job removing blackheads just keep in mind it may hurt and irritate the skin a little bit when you peel it off make sure you don't apply it on irritated areas or anywhere where you usually get red or rosacea over my cheeks this would have caused an absolute mess so I'm so glad I didn't do it and probably a rosacea flare for many days that is how sensitive my skin is so that's it for today I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up because that helps others discover it as well consider subscribing for new videos that will be coming up really soon thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you all again on my next one